President Leshen, thank you so much for for sitting down virtually and chatting with me about the importance of uh, voting and civic engagement. Yeah, from one president to another, this is an important conversation to have. Yeah, absolutely. I couldn't agree more. Um, and for a lot of WPI students, this is their first time voting in a presidential election. Um, and for some of them uh, who just turned 18, this is their first time voting ever. Uh, do you remember the first time that you voted? I do remember. And uh, it was, okay, I'm going to completely date myself here. It was the 1984 presidential election and my candidate did not win. Uh, but um, yeah, it's it, it does feel like a really you know, huge moment to, you know, we all of course have a voice for our whole lives, but but this is one really important way for us all to participate in our republic and our democracy. So, yep, it was a, uh, it was an exciting, exciting thing that first time voting. Absolutely. I remember my first election was 2016 um, and my parents were super excited and they went to the polling place with me. Um, I got to vote in person, which was really cool. Yeah. Uh, so it was, it was a great experience. Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, it is special. I, I meant to bring my I voted sticker because well, it's with people talk about. It. I already did vote, but I forgot it at home. <laughs> I know. I, I wish I got an I voted sticker with my uh, absentee ballot. <laughs> yeah, I we um, in our case we took we took our ballots. Uh, we got a mail in ballot, but then we went to an early voting location and dropped it off. And they had the I voted stickers there, so which I was very excited about. So well, that's fantastic. Uh, yeah, it was great actually, and it was easy peasy. So definitely urge everybody out there if you've got a mail in ballot to think about taking it to an early voting location or or a fire station where they have drop off boxes and. Um, and make sure your vote is counted. Yeah, and here at WPI, our campus mailroom is also a great secure location to drop off your mail-in ballot. Sure, absolutely. I urge people to do that as soon as possible because we do want to make sure that um, that they all get delivered, although our mail uh, service here in Massachusetts is second to none. So I'm, I'm confident that will happen. Yeah, and so speaking of students, voting. Um, do you think that the average WPI student understands how folks are elected to office and end up on the ballot? You might be better to answer that than me, Ryan. I, I think so. I hope so. I mean, I think, you know, the interesting thing to me in this election is we had some contested primaries. The, the Senate primary here in Massachusetts was contested, and that was a good thing, I think, to get people to pay attention early in this process. And of course, I know I, my sense is that in this election, we're gonna see big upticks in participation. And my hope is that that will include um, college age uh, folks across our country because you know your voices are really critical at this moment. So you gotta show up and you gotta vote. Absolutely. I think back to high school and all of the you know, civics classes or introduction to US history. And I don't think I appreciated it at the time of understanding how our government works and how a bill is made into law. Um, and now that I'm voting right and, and closer to being part of the real world, it certainly uh, shows its significance. Yeah, I mean, when I was a kid, we had the, the little TV spots. Oh, I can't remember what they were called, but the, I'm just a bill, I am only a bill. And, the, and so like from the time <laughs> of kids, we all would sing that song. We understood how a bill became a law. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we can maybe write some songs around here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so talking about WPI specifically, we have a great focus on STEM education here. Um, and how do you think our university can help promote uh, civic engagement and responsibility? Well, first of all, I really appreciate that you're doing this as one way to really shine a light on the importance of voting and the importance of participation in our democracy. It is a participatory democracy in our country. Um, and it doesn't have to, it's not, there's no, you know, there's no guarantee it'll be that way forever. So we've got to keep participating in it to make it, um, to make that continue, right? It, it relies on, it's human powered, it's powered by us. So um, yes, we are a STEM institution, but we're a STEM institution that's really dedicated to communities, right? To making a difference in communities. And I think all the work that we do through our projects, through our research, that's very connected to humans and human life and, you know, human, um, our fellow human beings reaching their full potential. I mean, all of that is really, really, that's civic work. And so your vote is uh, yet another way to express 
your commitment to our, our, uh, our country and being able to continue doing the great things that we're able to do now at WPI. Absolutely, I couldn't agree more. And this year I think is a unique year for a lot of reasons, not to mention uh, the global pandemic being one of the biggest. Um, but it's this year certainly highlighted the importance of science, uh, its role in public policy, and how do you think WPI students will bring these lessons into their future careers? Yeah, there's, there's no greater uh, time to, to understand the importance of, of scientific voices, of technological leaders in public life than during the management of a crisis that is at its core uh, a scientific crisis, right? I mean, it's about, um, it's about managing disease and about, um, about some of the inequities that are, are in our systems too that, that have led to disproportionate impacts of this disease. And the, the scientists who have been front and center in the management of this pandemic, whether those are in the federal government or people working at the state and local level, um, I think they've really done a good job of showing the importance of letting, letting science drive us. We've tried to do that here at WPI with our plans to bring all of you back to the campus. Let the science drive our decision making. And, and having STEM educated leaders who can understand that science and understand the importance of it and how to use it in their decision making is so critical. And I think a WPI education is designed to help all of you um, really kind of carry that ethos forward into your careers. Yeah, absolutely. I was just gonna say, you know, thank you to you, Preston Alessian and everyone on the CERT team. Um, it's been incredible that we've been able to come back to campus and, and do so well this far. And, you know, uh, you've put on town halls, right? And we have dashboards about all the different data. I think it's a great testament to how we can use science to, to kind of drive forward and, and engineer the best solution. Yeah, absolutely. And look, and the other thing I think WPI teaches you is theory and practice, right? So in the summer, it was sort of all theoretical and we thought it would work, but we weren't sure. And then when we had everybody come back, we've been learning as we go, right? So our WPI education is all about learning and pivoting and 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 continuing to, to try new things. And we're going to continue to do that as we go throughout this year. But we have proven that uh, you know, we took theory to practice here. We've learned a lot along the way. And and I think it is that WPI mindset that has really allowed us so far um, to be successful, along with honestly, the incredible commitment of our students, of, of the student body that you um, help oversee as SGA president to that, how seriously everyone's taking it, um, how they're supporting each other, and, and also how there's a lot of student to student accountability out there. And, you know, the same could be said in, in our democracy. We need more of that sort of pulling together and, and supporting one another and, and driving our democracy forward. Certainly, certainly. Uh, last question for you, as we near election day coming up on Tuesday, November 3rd, uh, is there any, uh, uh, similar to a debate, uh, any closing statement that you'd like to share? <laughs> yeah, vote, 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 get out the vote. Um, and, uh, you know, I think so two messages, I guess I would say. So the first is vote. And, and I, you know, by now we're so close to the election and hopefully you're all registered and you've gotten a ballot and you voted or you're about to vote. Um, don't wait till the last minute to make your voting plan. And then the second thing I would say is, you know, as we come up to election day on the campus, there's a lot of people stressed about this election. There's a lot of people worried about it. Um, just continue to treat one another with the great respect and care that we have shown over the past few months with this pandemic. People can have differing views. People can have um, differing um, ideas. And we're a university. We're a place where you're supposed to be able to bring differing views and ideas out and debate and discuss them civilly. That's what the foundation of democracy is all about. So be kind to one another. Be caring of one another as we get through Election Day and, and hopefully what will be a quick resolution afterwards. Um, but it, it could drag on. And, you know, we're prepared. We're, we'll, we'll be here together, learning together as we go and, and caring for one another, regardless of the outcome. Certainly, certainly. Uh, for everyone who's voting in Massachusetts, uh, if you're using a mail-in ballot, uh, make sure it's postmarked uh, by Tuesday the 3rd so that it can be received by the state no longer than uh, Friday the 6th. Um, you can also drop it off in person at a polling place if you have a mail-in ballot. Um, and for any students who want to go to a polling location here in Worcester on Election Day, if you're registered to vote here in Massachusetts, uh, you can vote uh, from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. at the Worcester Art Museum Cafe. Right. That's great. But if you're mailing your ballot, do it sooner than Election Day if you possibly can. That's my recommendation. <laughs> but Absolutely. Do it right now. 
Yeah, do it today. Awesome. Those are all the questions I have for you, President Lushen. Do you have any questions for me? Well, um, I just want to thank you really for, for taking the time to make this happen and to um, sharing the message of getting out the vote with our students. So thank you so much, Ryan.